<laughs> this is fantastic news about this warm weather on the way. It's about yes, time. yes, and it's yeah. going to have some staying power too. It's going to be the uh, longest stretch of warmer weather uh, we've been waiting for all yeah. spring long. But of course, it takes a while for that real spring to arrive across Northeast Ohio. And yes, we're still talking about some frosty conditions, but not as widespread as we've been tracking through most of the past 24 hours with the unseasonably pocket of cold air that's just been hanging out way too long for us. But for tonight, keep the plants indoors. But this is going to be the beginning of a significant warming trend once we get beyond tomorrow morning. So frost is going to be likely, but not as widespread. It's going to be patchy, especially the further south you go, but everyone will have a good chance to approach the mid to lower 30s by the time we're waking up. Most locations are already flirting with the upper 30s. I'm thinking we're going to flatline somewhere in the mid to upper 30s all throughout the next few hours or so. Clear skies, that's going to allow for more radiational cooling and that cold air will eventually sink closer to the ground and allow for uh, that frost formation to happen. So frost advisories region wide and rightfully so because we have the right conditions for that. High pressure is in dominant control, clearing out our skies all throughout the Buckeye State and all throughout the Northeast. Things are quiet, clear and calm, but a different story is taking place in the central plains and southern portions of the southern plains. Again, we're looking at a swath of rain. This is going to be our next best bed of rainfall that's going to be lifting up to the north. But further off to the west, folks, in the central plains, we could be looking at a potential tornado outbreak in eastern Nebraska over to southwest Iowa, my uh, last stumping ground. But off to uh, our neck of the woods, folks, we're just looking at some swath of uh, a light to moderate rainfall that's going to be lifting in our direction, but it's going to be bringing those warmer temperatures, most importantly. So all throughout tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see that significant surge of upper 60s, lower 70s. Then rain will be arriving as early as Friday evening right into early Saturday morning. This weekend, it's not going to be the total washout, but you're going to need to have those umbrellas on standby just in case you have any outdoor plants. But check out this warmth that's going to be sticking around not only for Friday. This is Saturday. We're talking about some deeper oranges and reds showing up upper 70s, lower 80s. That's possible. But this human air mass is going to be sticking around for us through most of this weekend. So on and off chances of showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, that's going to be possible all throughout the next coming days. Let's talk about your Friday. Pretty quiet start. Once we get beyond the lower 40s, lunch hour is looking good. Low 60s. Clouds are going to be building, but meanwhile, the, south, south, the southerly winds are really going to help us out to approach the upper 60s, lower 70s by the time we wrap up the afternoon. Let's talk about these rain chances. If you have any Friday evening plans, just have the rain gear just in case because the current model data is backed off on the rain chances. I'm thinking that high pressure system is really going to limit the rainfall to arrive a little bit later on into the evening. So I'm thinking around this time tomorrow, 10 and 11 o'clock, that is when we can start to see the uh, rain beginning to fall across much of the metro. This is uh, midnight for Saturday, right into Saturday morning. Here this, here's this chance of showers and thunderstorms for Saturday morning, right into the early afternoon. We clear out, but showers and thunderstorms is still a, a marginal chance by that for late Saturday. Once again, it's an early Sunday. Going throughout your weekend, again, not a complete washout. One and all chances of rainfall as we go throughout the next three, few days or so. We could see upwards to just shy of half an inch of rain, so not a washout. Upper 70s, low 80s. It's feeling very spring-like. Again, humidity is going to be up there as well. With your Union Home Mortgage 10-day outlook, look at these warm temperatures. Staying power, upper 70s, low 80s, Sunday, Monday, a slight cool down for Tuesday. That cool down means lower 70s, where we should be for this time of the year. Mid-70s for Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms possible by late week. Russ? And May arrives next week. Good stuff, Anthony. Thank you.